State health officials say underage binge drinking is a real problem here in Connecticut, but the good news is that there are steps you can take to help a friend or loved one work through it. Pat Reamer is the commissioner of the Connecticut Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services and joins us on Style. Nice to have you back. Thank you. Um, so let's first talk about that. what constitutes binge drinking. Um, binge drinking is defined as five or more drinks for um, men or boys mm -hmm. and four or more drinks for girls because they're smaller. So. Um, and I think we've heard about this happening on college campuses, but you're mm -hmm. saying the problem is really expanding to, to younger kids. Yes, it is. And, and we're really concerned um, because it is a, a real cause for concern in this state. It's um, part of the leading cause of deaths for adolescents because of the um, impact on uh, car accidents. Sure. And um, we do know that individuals that don't drink before the age of 15 have a much better chance of not having an alcohol abuse problem later in life. And so drinking under age really impacts the brain and impacts brain development and it's really critical to get the message out both to adolescents and their parents mm -hmm. um, about the dangers of drinking. And that's why it's really a public health issue. It is a public health issue, yes. Um, Pat, where are we seeing this take place with the younger kids? Um, different places. Certainly um, at, in college, we see it at a lot of sports games, you know, the tailgating. Sure. Um, certainly at concerts, uh, uh, you'll, uh, the uh, emergency room directors mm -hmm. will talk about just being swamped with kids who have been brought in because they've um, had so much to drink. And the other place is in people's homes that sometimes parents will allow or don't know, mm -hmm. but some will allow their um, adolescents to have parties because they feel like it's better and they're going to be able to monitor it but somehow. there's severe consequences yes. for a parent that does that. Yes, Can there you is. explain that to us? There's um, a social law that uh, has been in place now for a couple of years. If you're aware that mm -hmm. there are adolescents, underage drinkers in your home drinking, then you are liable for that and you can be arrested and there can be very severe consequences mm -hmm. for it. Um, let's talk about teens themselves and sometimes it's a peer pressure issue and I know you have to be confident and stand your own ground but maybe some tips for teens to, to kind of avoid this? Right, I think it is a huge peer pressure um, issue and again one of the things I would suggest is for parents to be talking with their kids from middle school because we're seeing middle school age children wow. drink on up and you know it's really about the um, young adolescent trying to be you know they're in charge of themselves and and really trying to find alternative activities not every kid drinks mm -hmm. you know when you're if you find your adolescent drinking and they say oh everybody does it that is not true and there are activities that people can engage in um, music drama um, school uh, uh, council there's a lot of kids that don't drink and I think really trying to help your um, children understand that is important. And you mentioned that it all kind of starts with the parents start talking to them about it at a young age but any other advice? I mean I, I mean it, does it get to the point where you hide your liquor? Um, I think that if some if you have a child that you think is out of control that would be important. One of the things we know is the most important thing parents can do and it is hard. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. I have young adult children. I went through the everybody does it. Can I have a party at the house? It's really important to say no and to explain to kids the consequences. But we do know that one of the things that keeps um, adolescents from drinking is their parents making it very clear that they don't approve of it mm -hmm. and also if the parents can role model sure. um, safe drinking habits um, it's it's really very critical. And Pat, I'm sure you're getting the message across in schools as well? Yes um, we actually have about we bring in about 22 million in federal dollars in grants that help us do education in the school system and um, get out there and talk about underage drinking as much as we can mm -hmm. with families and in forums that will help us do that. Right, well, let's put some information up on the screen and if people do need some assistance, where can they turn? Um, they can go to our website, which is the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services, and you can find it um, on the web at demas.com and there's all sorts of information and videos that people can watch that will help um, also help them talk to their sure. teens about this. Life-saving advice, Pat. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And of course, we'll have information over at WTNH.com. All you have to do is click on style. Coming up next, we're heading into the kitchen with Betty Ann Donegan and Stephanie Dietz and we're making a veggie loaded pasta dish. When style returns, we'll be right back.